Good news! Now you can fully understand any code repository thanks to this recent release tool by Google called CodeWiki. It let you create live videos, text, slides, and even a chatbot out of your chosen GitHub repo so you can maintain all these assets as you're developing the codes and deal with your code in a fully understandable and a whole different way. In this video, I'm going to show you how CodeWiki works and how you can gain access to it. Stay tuned. CodeWiki is a new tool by Google that lets you create wiki for your code repositories, but this time it's a whole new type of wiki. It's a live wiki that has videos, slides, and chatbots that you can interact with your repository. So given that as of now I'm recording this video, it is very new. So far you can use it for open source repositories, but coming soon, you can also connect your private repo to be able to create this wiki using this code wiki by Google. If you're interested to get access, obviously, if you go to codewiki.google, there's a link that you can click, notify me when available. The time that you're watching this video, maybe you don't need to, it's already there. But if you're watching it and it's in whitelisted, it's not whitelisted yet, you have to actually apply to gain access. But in their website, they have a couple of nice open source repos that they have created wiki using this new code wiki. And we can check a couple of them together to see what features this Google wiki provide. The very first thing that it reminded me when I watched this wiki, it's sort of very close to what Notebook LM provides. So Notebook LM, if you haven't tried, it's like a tool that you can dump a bunch of your PDFs, text, documents, and any source of context you have, and then it generates videos and slides to so let you digest the information much better, and there's a chatbot you can chat with. The same thing here, but this time for your code repos, not just text space or other type of documents. So you can see it immediately generated a video out of Google Gemini CLI. That's a GitHub repository. It's an open source project. So I can just play that quickly. There you go. All right. Today we're doing a technical overview of the Google Gemini slash Gemini CLI repository. We'll be looking at its architecture, its core functions, this an architecture of the repository command line interface to work with the Google Gemini. A it directs the AI agent orchestration to A2A server. So you could see that it perfectly rendered the slides and even text on them. And there's also a small sign of Notebook LM here. So as I guess, it is using Notebook LM for generating that. that so visions. similar to that, you have the same experience here. If you scroll all the way down, you can see some nice visualized chart. This is very important when you deal with complex code repos. You want to understand flow of a class, of a function, of a whole let's say .py code or whatever that is included in your repo, this is going to be very helpful to add in your repository and just get to know what is the flow architecture of that solution that you have in your project. And on the right side, you have a nice Gemini powered chatbot that you can really chat anything from the code or repo that you got connected to. For example, I can ask, tell me more about Gemini CLI repo. Just want to see hey, how it actually pulled the data and fetch the responses back for me. You can consider that as like a rag chatbot that's doing retrieve augmented generation, similar to what you have experienced. You can see not only nicely answered me, but at the same time, the answer is grounded. So I can see the citations that where this answer is coming from. So if I click on any of these citations here, it immediately go to that source to generate a little bit more information for me. And if I scroll all the way down, let's say I want to click on tooling and execute extension system, it immediately referred to a chart that it got generated for me so I can get to know more about it. So similarly, you can ask any follow-up question here as you want. And if I go all the way down and the left side, you will see that on this page agenda. So you can literally just go and navigate through different contents here. And in high level, you can see what sort of information has been generated for your repository. Nice thing is that you can not only share this, but at the same time, whenever you change anything in your code, as your codes are getting evolved, you make changes, adding features to your codes or projects, this wiki is live. So it gets changed automatically to include latest changes as you develop and maintain your project. Now let's get into some more details of the features of this code wiki. First of all, you can literally understand your code section by section. So you can zoom in and zoom out from the content of your repo if you want to go all the way to, to a deep to a specific part of code or function you can do or go all the way back and in high level ask architectural questions second thing is that generate automatically i already mentioned that that ai agents automatically generate and maintain this is a key word 
a rich interactive knowledge base from your code so imagine like a chatbot that you have that it's always live always update about the latest information and codes you have in your repository so always up to date and link back to your code so you can instantly jump from an architectural overview to the exact service or from function description to its definition in the repositories because these contents are getting linked and there is a citation so you can connect the dots between the contents that you have within the repo even if they are not in the same place same folder but because you have this holistic view you can clearly put the pieces of puzzles around each other to have a solid understanding and uh, involvement of what's happening in your code repositories another nice feature that is coming in if you click on notify me when available again to the time that i'm recording this video you there's also a wait list that you can have wiki connected as gemini cli extension so if you don't know what is gemini cli it's a wipe coding tool that runs in your terminal so whenever you wherever you're coding you open up your terminal machine and you can just type gemini and gemini cli will be there so it code for you or code with you and run all the changes directly in your environment similar to other agentic uh, wipe coding ides that you might have experience but here adding wiki as an extension that means i can generate this wiki out of my code repo directly from a local environment so i'm not going to go through another website or go to the wiki and generate it there and push it all the content there so it brings all the way back to the environment that you are developing your assets and now you have this wiki extension added so in live you can see all this content getting generated out of your evolved code repository all right that was a quick and short video about google code wiki i found that actually it's extremely helpful when you develop codes and connect even open source or private repos down the road to this live wiki and pretty sure you will find a whole new different type of experience when you are developing your applications and i really hope you found this video helpful if yes i would be very thankful to click on like icon and make sure you share your thoughts in comment section and subscribe so you won't miss the next video thank you so much